that's a good thing. Are we getting underway? I hear the horn blowing, and uh, Pee Wee looks like he'll be on the attack unless that changes again. Uh, yeah, and it looks like they are just going to be going with it. So that it random like draw, it. Pee Wee will have the stage here. Is he going to be able to get this offensive point for a reason early, or will it unfortunately not happen for his team? Fortunately for Eyes on You, though, if they're able to get the first point, we'll see who's going to be able to draw first blood on the attack as those are such a coveted prized possession here in Shoot Mania. Pee Wee rotating over to the right, not able to see any defender quite yet. So the defense playing actually very passive. We don't see many defenses play this passive. There's a double tap, though, onto Pee Wee and a third. So as I talk about the passivity, they go ahead and rush him down. So Yeah, it's, it's sneaky like that, man. They'll make you think that they're backing off, and then they'll send somebody around on the flank. It, it's, a, it, it's a nice scheme, and there's so many different permutations of that, so many ways you can make that work for you. And, and it's been fun to watch that in uh, the metagame, the uh, emergent gameplay strategy esports of it all. Here's Philly to try to do some esports of his own. For uh, Germany's eyes on you, he is uh, looking to make a shot here, and that one's a very good one on Landfuse, who was heading to his position defensively and about to lay some rockets on him. But eyes on you, uh, very nice job by Philly to get that one first. He is at the pole already as, uh, I don't know, are they aware of it? They are. Now they're starting to come in, and they're going to pinch in from both sides. You'll see Reason using the terrain. They've got him coming Ooh. either way, and 72% is not quite enough for Philly there, and Adjman is going to get him, and Pee Wee got a shot as well on the Rockets there to knock him out and tie this thing up at one. Here comes Adjman for Reason Gaming on the offense, carrying the railgun in dread. And if you guys missed the yearly maps here, Ajpin had an amazing offensive attacking round. Oh, no, that was in the last game. That was in the last one. And then he, they said, nope, we have to restart. Lost his offensive point, yeah. plays the next one, gets it right back immediately, and it was amazing. Oh, just oh. narrowly. Oh, no, that was a double tap. Jansen getting it both. Was. I thought he jumped the second one, but going to be taken down to one arm with these long-range rockets as Jansen playing so smart with those predictive rockets. Philly just narrowly avoiding that shot. Ab uh, Adjpen trying to get a hit here on just one of the defenders. Misses the, or I'm sorry, dodges the rockets and is able to get away. Just misses his shot there. Going to continue to juke. You see one of the defenders actually eating a rocket there for him. That one might have hit. And now he's going to have to rush down this pole with five seconds left. There's the hit by Philly. And Adjpen not able to get a hit. And it's going to bring it up 2-1 to one for Eyes on You. He stayed alive for so long. I was like, how is he avoiding all that? That was a, that was a tough one there, man. Uh, all three eyes on you at the pole trying to ward him off of there. And <laughs> he managed to avoid all that fire for quite some time. But uh, th that's just a, wow, that was a hard one here. And, uh, wow, uh, already Jansen in a tough spot himself as Pee Wee gets a double tap with some help from Lanfust, and that's going to tie things up. A defensive point for uh, Reason Gaming, and Lanfust is going to be the offensive attacker now. Yes, and Lanfust had a really big offensive round in the next map, so hopefully he will be able to do this again. And... Let's see where the defense is set up. It looks like they're playing a pretty standard defense here with the one at the jail, one in the hut, and then one kind of in there in the mid. So we'll see if Lenfuse will be able to break this down. Going to be rotating over towards the right, and this is where things will start to get interesting if he can get this angle on the hut defender. Not sure if he knows he's there yet, though, so just going to opt to go towards the back here and maybe swoop around towards the back of the pole. And is the defense rotating? Not yet. So Lanfust will have free uh, free hit there as he takes out Philly as Philly was rotating back. They know where he's at now. Avoids a lot of the rockets. The pull is now captured. And so great attack from Lanfust, losing a little bit of trickery. And he said 007. So uh, thinks of himself a bit as a spy as he sneaks in there and gets the point for his team. Nils now on the attack for eyes on you. It was Bond, James Bond. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, gotta love it. Uh, there's some discussion in the chat. This is an interesting question, Andrea. Uh, six points or nine? Some people are lobbying for uh, nine point rounds, uh, which uh, could change the complexion of how things are played. Nils uh, getting the complexion changed with a couple of shots on him for some reason. Already down to one armor, and Peewee's gonna finish him off with a nice shot there and make this four to two for a reason but yeah six points or nine points i don't know six points it does seem kind of abrupt sometimes i personally like the six points because i think one thing with today's gamers is that they like things that are you know they go and they end fast so they're able to just go to six move on they, they can play their next round later and i think it's going to cater to the new generation of gamers but uh, the thing is, I believe IPL plays to six. And so for me, I think if Shoot Mania, you know, wants to, you know, stay competitive, become an eSport, you got to kind of um, make things universal. So whatever it is, it needs to be done the same way. ESWC, I believe, was six, if I'm not mistaken. So IPL will be six. Uh, I just think it would be better to keep it as uniform as possible. So that that's my take on a Great exchange there, though. Peewee getting hit, getting pushed there to get the angle on to Jansen. He is able to eliminate Jansen. Jansen now watching from the sidelines. Another exchange there. It's going to be one versus one. Just missing that shot onto Nils. Nils barely able to stay alive. He just has to live now. Not enough time to cap it. And there it goes. So it's going to be four to three now in the favor of reason. Philly needing to get an offensive point here for his team. Very close third round, just as we hoped and expected. Uh, we'll see how Philly does here. Yeah, you're you're putting it uh, heavily into the meta there, man, when you start talking about everybody playing the same game. That's something that we see a lot of discussion in eSports, uh, whether you're playing the whatever game it is at a more casual level or a more competitive level. A lot of people feel it's important that the game be the same. What a shot by Philly onto Peewee there while I'm sitting here talking about the meta game. But yeah, a lot of people really feel that it's good to have a uniform set of rules no matter uh, whether the level is the highest level or just uh, beer league as we call it here. Uh, wow, some, I would think Philly would take some shots here and he finally does. Uh, Ashpin does get a shot on him though. Takes it down to one armor. He's got one to deal with on the pole here. How's he going to play this? He's going upstairs. And, uh, had a shot there that didn't quite land. He was hoping to get sneaky with it again, but Landfuse uh, Mr. 007 on the pole gets a shot onto Philly to get him, and that's going to make it five to three. Reason is uh, pulling away a little bit here and has a chance to win this thing with an offensive score by Edgman. Yes, and uh, the conversation is continuing here. People are saying that with nine rounds, there's going to be less quote unquote random. Uh, factors being the rocket spams, but the rocket spams to me are it's equal for both teams. You know, it's not like random in the fact that one one round the team gets five rockets in their gun, where the other team gets two or something like that. You know, it's always the same amount of rockets. And to me, yeah, I guess I it'd be how nine would leave no doubt a little bit more. Yeah, that makes sense. But you know, like you could continue to make that argument and say, well, thirty six will definitely not leave the hundred. Yeah, you know, and so. You got to draw the line somewhere, and <laughs> I, I just don't know where that line is. But oh. there's the hit. He's going to start camping the pull. Edgepin getting the pull and going to give his team the victory. We're over here talking about rounds, and Edgepin decides he wants to win the game right now. So, oh my gosh. So That was his plan all along, man, to lull us into that false sense of security while he snuck around the entire Eyes on You team and got a pole cap to finish this thing off. Wow, what a performance by both of these teams. But put it in stone, this one is going to go to Reason Gaming, but Eyes on You, a very solid game here. And these two teams uh, won't be surprised to see either one of them in the round of 16, which will be coming up.